Welcome. In this video, I teach you how to install Kali Linux on VMware. First, we go to Kali.org. There are several ways to deploy Kali Linux. Personally, I exclusively virtualize it using VMware Workstation, but you can also use Player or Fusion for Mac. Personally, I think virtualization is the best way, as it only requires a few gigabytes of RAM, which most systems have. It's mostly isolated from your host OS, and it's quick and easy to set up. You just download and drop it into a VMware player or workstation, and it's done. Let's go ahead and click the virtualization button and download the VMware version. 64-bit should be okay in most cases, but try 32-bit if you have any issues. If you don't already have VMware workstation or player, go ahead to the website and download it via here. Now we have the download, let's go ahead and extract it to the folder. We will have VMware Workstation or Player open and drop it into the application. This will then run it. The default installation should work as is, but we can go ahead and modify hardware parameters such as RAM or CPUs. We will go ahead and log in using Kali as the username and Kali as the password. Open up a terminal, do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. This will go ahead and basically download any new repositories and that kind of thing. Really just updating your system's the latest version. When prompted for the password, we use Kali as that is our account password and we let that go ahead and install. While that's installing, we go ahead and split our terminal and I go ahead and make a modification to the behavior of our terminal, adjusting the font size to a little bit larger and making an adjustment to the terminal border. So when we split a terminal, we have a nice little blue border around it, making it just a little bit prettier and a little bit easier to work with. Once it has finished updating, we go ahead and reboot the system and we should be good to go. In addition to the reboot, what will happen also is we will be able to do copy and paste between the host OS and the virtual machine as this comes down with VMware tools and often it requires a simple reboot once you've sudo out updated. And we are good to go. For more ethical hacking based content, check out the rest of my channel, including hand drawn technical animations. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like and comment. See you next one. Take care everyone. Bye.